the Centre for Citizens with Disabilities have urged the government to work on providing ease of navigation and access to airport facilities for people living with disabilities in Nigeria. The Centre says this challenge is impeded uh, movement for the challenged to navigate through terminals. Now, the program officer, Center for uh, so with uh, Disabilities, CCD, uh, Florence said relevant stakeholders like uh, Airport Authority of, uh, of Nigeria, Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, among others, have been sensitized across the six geopolitical zones and the federal capital territory, and also negotiable plays to have uh, been recorded. Now, according to the group, the recent incident uh, involving the Bola Daniel at a KFC outlet at Murital International Airport is a blatant violation of the National Disability Act and uh, typifies the experiences of many persons with uh, uh, disabilities that go unspoken. She, however, urged relevant stakeholders to address the errant uh, challenges to ensure full compliance with the Disability Act. <sighs> In our recommendation, one, the slow enforcement of the legal, relevant legal frameworks by agencies tasked with managing the various aspects of efforts in Nigeria has led to continued exclusion of persons with disabilities from accessing airport facilities and services. To this end, the coalition of disability organizations calls upon the relevant agencies to immediately address these shortcomings and ensure full compliance with the National Disability Act. To this end, we are making this recommendation. The Ministry of Aviation should develop and implement comprehensive accessible policies and guidelines for all airports under its jurisdiction. That plan should ensure that all infrastructure upgrades and new constructions are held to universal design principles. Also, that plan and Ministry of Aviation should coordinate trainings and sensitization programs for airport staffs on disability rights and inclusion. For any of those officials, it will have been very disastrous because we have taken them through the movement of disability rights and accessibility to airports. But this is happening to this has happened from a tenant of PAN and NCA. And so what we are saying is this, okay, we have, we have taken NCA and PAN into, into the forum. They know what they are supposed to do for PWD, but their tenants are not aware. We cannot do that for the tenants. If you are giving a, a premises out to a tenant, you give rules. So what, what we are doing is to call on PAN and NCA, whoever is the, I mean, the, the landlord of the tenants of those people who are operating at airports who are not members of uh, uh, SCA staff and fan staff to tell them the rules and regulations that must govern the operations within the airport premises. This is what we also want to emphasize. Like I said, it did, didn't come from FAN, it didn't come from SCA, it didn't come from the airlines at all. So those are people who already understood the issue of disability thoroughly as far as the issue of access, I mean, airport using for video is concerned. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.